listeners, and welcome back to the Internet Marketing and Business Solutions Radio Show with Ronald Coleman from RCS Technology Solutions. At RCS Technology Solutions, we help business owners and entrepreneurs achieve even greater success and to attract, convert, and retain their ideal customers using various proven and measurable Internet marketing methods and techniques. The purpose of this show is to bring on the first two sections. We bring on subject matter experts to help business owners and entrepreneurs get some ideas and actionable methods and tips on how to achieve even greater success and to listen to some experts who have done that for themselves as well as helped others achieve it too. And I'm very happy to announce that we have Simon Lovell on today, and he helps personal trainers and life changers to go to six figures in record time by using a unique formula that he's developed to help them grow in all areas of their life. And how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? Excellent. And now you're calling in from California? San Diego. (laughs) San Diego. Nice. I'll be out there late April, early May. It's meant to be sunny all the time, but I've actually had floods. (laughs) Yeah. I've heard that, and then years ago when I was a kid growing up, not to divert from the show, but uh, when I was going to there was a song, It Never Rains in Southern California, right? <laughs> I might have to go back <laughs> to the U.K., but I don't think it's much much better over there. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Yeah, that's right. You're from uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, okay, Simon, I do know you. I've met you. I've listened to you, your Facebook Lives. I've heard you speak at uh, events, but could you tell the listeners a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yeah, so basically um, I grew up um, kind of story of a bullied teenager and, um, you know, ended up becoming a personal trainer, did that. Um, but at the same time that I was a personal trainer, I was, I was self-sabotaging. So by, by the day, you know, by the day I was working as a trainer, by the weekends I was gambling, I was taking drugs, and I was kind of self-medicating. And finally kind of got myself out of that and started to actually invest in myself and invest in mentors and coaches and and really started to learn how to really ultimately what it was, which I didn't know at the time, was actually build my confidence. And so what I do now is I, I help personal trainers and also like life changers, those who want to really change people's lives. Um, I really help them build their confidence. So, you know, Fitpreneurs is a self-development and business coaching company. So, yes, we help with the sales, marketing, enrollment. I'm, I'm, I'm very good at that. But at the same time, that has to be matched with personal development and growth, because it's my belief that, you know, what's happening in your personal life is in direct relate, uh, reflection of what's happening in your business. And so 80% of, of the results come from how we think, how we feel, how we react to what we do and, and our level of confidence. You know, if you're not confident, if you don't have the right mindset, you can not implement the strategies to be able to get you to, yourself to the next level. It's something very different earning 2K a month to earning 100K a month. The difference is what's happening in the mind and the identity of the person. So I, I create change that way. That's huge. That's huge. And, and I know a couple of the people that you've worked with and, uh, and work with currently, and I know that they've you know, had tremendous success and they've leveled up since they've uh, been working with you. Can you give us like one or two tips on something that, that people could do or at least, uh, you know, to start the process of, of changing their mindset or at least understanding that that change is necessary. Understand that trying to figure it out on your own is more expensive than finding someone to shortcut the process. Oftentimes what happens is, and I did this for years, which was thinking that, you know, I can just spend all this time and, and I was in front of the computer and just investing in, you know, X, Y, and Z, but it wasn't getting me anywhere. So seek, seek someone that's going to call you out Because when someone calls you out, it challenges you to step up to that next level. And so I'm only only talking from my own personal experience, but I love to challenge people because it creates a shift. And that's really what we're looking for. We're looking for to to stretch outside of our comfort zone to do things which are against what we're normally used to. So in order to grow a business, you need strategy. You need to know how to, for example, I help trainers instead of selling sessions and blocks, selling big, you know, ticket and and, and higher, uh, longer terms and and a more leveraged business. But at the same time, you've got to be in the right mindset to be able to do that. So just recognizing and having the awareness, is it more expensive for me to try and figure out this on my own? Um, And that way that can really help. 
That's excellent. And that's kind of like Sarah, who was on just before you. She was talking about hiring a coach. And, and that's obviously what, what you are as a coach. You help people after, you know, realize it, but then also be accountable. That's right. You go, there's, there's a, what gets results is information, but it's really the intelligent application of it. Then accountability, but only accountability is only one part of it. What people miss is consequences. There has to be a consequence if you don't do something. Because any, anyone can say to someone, I'll go and do this, but why doesn't it get done? That's the question. So, you know, really what I do is I shortcut the process of success for someone. Now, that might be for someone doing it on their own a year, uh, two years, three years, five years. But if I can shortcut that to a few months because I'm getting people to do what would have normally taken longer, then really the impact of that, of someone trying to figure out on their own over the course of a few years, is can potentially be hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it's the same, it's the same for a personal trainer. You know, for example, someone's either going to be stood in front of the TV trying to work it out on YouTube videos and not push themselves, or they go hire a personal trainer who pushes them, stretches them, gets them to do the exercises correctly, and therefore a transformation happens in 12 weeks instead of a year. Exactly, and also when people, that's so huge too, and one of the uh, things that I've learned over the years is when people pay, they pay attention. So when they pay for that personal trainer, A, they don't want to miss the days because now they paid for that time, uh, so they pay attention. And, and, you know what I mean? So that's another aspect of it. When they hire a coach, uh, you know, it, it, they pay attention. to you know, if they're getting free advice from um whether it's Facebook or YouTube videos or whatever the case may be, uh, and they don't implement it, you're right. I mean, that's like uh, shelf help, we call that. People go to... Yeah, and but what, and what happens is there's this trap that people get caught up in, which is called, I call it like the inf information versus money trap, which you have a lot of knowledge and you accumulate a lot of knowledge, but you don't action it. And then what happens is you build up in your brain this lack of, oh my God, I'm not... I've got all of this knowledge, but I, I'm not generating the money to match my knowledge. Like, what's going on? You know, and that happens for so many people. So many people are addicted to information when they need to become an action addict. I love it. Now, how do you get people, right? Because what you just said is, is, I mean, it resonates with me. And so I can imagine it resonates with a lot of my uh, listeners as well. How do you help people, like, from that first step, once they have that awareness and then they actually call you or – so what would be the, the step to get them to the next level where they go from having all that knowledge and not taking action or taking 20% of the action that they possibly could because they just have so much skill set to getting to that 40, 50, 60, 80, or 100%? How do you get that? What, what, what's the next step? Well, first of all, we, you know, we've got to look at the system that's already working or not working in the business. You know, so, for example, the big shift that I get with a lot of trainers is having them go from selling blocks and sessions to selling outcomes where they charge, for example, thousands for a transformation instead of a few hundred, right? So once they've got that system, and I remember a business is built or it declines based on the systems that are either working or not working, I look at what system they have, introduce a new system but then give them the confidence to go and implement it. Then put them through with like a seven, 30-day process where they've got to action it and do it. Then what happens is then confidence builds because all that someone needs to feel is like they're progressing. But most of the time we procrastinate. We don't move forward because we've got too many options and therefore we don't, we don't take any action. So when you've got too many options and you're online and you're looking at blog posts and webinars and YouTube videos, it creates inaction because there's confusion. So what we do is just give a system, a formula, follow this step by step, and if you're not following it, why? Then come on a call with, you know, on the group call with me or a coach and find out why are you actually not doing it. And that what happens is that normally comes from kind of worrying what people think, lack of self-belief, not feeling like you can charge that, and that's the actual problem. When we find that and we start to uncover that, we get to the true reason of the problem for example lots of trainers come to me and say well i can't get more leads but lack of leads is part strategy but mainly confidence because there's not a shortage of people that need their help 
But if you've got a lot of confidence, you're going to go out and talk to people. You're going to get away from your computer. Everyone that comes into contact with, you're going to be passionate about telling them, you know, this is what I do. This is how I want to serve you. But if you have lack of confidence, you're not going to go out to get leads. So lead generation, when someone says to me, oh, my God, I've got no leads, it normally has its part strategy, but it's a confidence issue. Yeah, and, and I, I, you know, being I'm an internet, I'm in internet marketing as you know, and I work with people also how to uh, attract and, and um, convert their ideal clients in on the internet aspect of it. And what you just said is exactly what I tell some of my clients too. It, it, so it's so spot on, and that's you know, lead with your benefits and value. Tell the story, see the people, and tell the story. And uh, so what you're saying is, is is tremendous value. If people can understand that shift. People don't care about you, your products, or your services. They care about the benefits and value that they derive from using your products and services opposed to someone else. And if you can effectively convey that, uh, you'll crush it. Right. But people have to feel it. They have to feel their worth at a gut level. You know, and I think that a lot of the time there's so many different strategies out there, but if someone doesn't feel it at their core that they're worth what they're selling – they're going yep. to gonna sabotage. And also, they'll reach an upper limit problem where they hit a big number in one month and maybe you get to 10K. But what happens is that when you don't feel like you're worth it, you'll sabotage it and go back to your old identity. I love it. So you really help people not only achieve the next level and then level up from there, but also to maintain it and then go up instead of being on like a mental and emotional financial business roller coaster. That's right, because the reason why we sabotage is because it's not part of our identity. So we get a quick hit, but we don't, we don't sustain those results. I love it. And, and when you talk about identity of self, I mean, that is so fundamental and so core. I remember years ago I listened to this guy, and, and um, what I really liked, he, was such, he had such good information. And one of the, the, the episodes that I listened to, was, it was all about identity of self, and when he talked about, like, cigarette smokers, the ones who were, were uh, able to really quit was because they no longer identified themselves as being a cigarette smoker. I'm trying to quit, or I was there. I do not smoke. I am not a smoker. You know what I mean? So it's that identity, how you see yourself and how you project yourself is uh, tremendous. I, I love the whole mindset, man. Yeah, it's, it's key because it shifted me. You know, I went from gambling, drugs, 50K worth of debt to building a million-dollar company in 18 months. Now, when I shifted from 40,000 a month to 100,000 in one month, that shift came from a mindset shift. It came from me not worrying what other people thought of me. It came from me pushing more and doing more instead of – and I did, but I didn't understand why at the moment. You know, so inaction, procrastination, which is where so many people are – it's because we, we overthink. So what happens is we, o- we only make a certain amount of money to survive, not thrive. And so if you're capped on your income, if you're capped at a certain amount every single month, and you're not pushing and you're not ascending it, it's normally something psychological. I love it. And, Simon, can you go back a bit what you just said uh, about the steps that you went through? What were your – where you started, where you were in debt in, in, in your uh, substance abuse history, uh, to – 40000 a month, and, and can you just say that again? I mean, I heard it, and, and I, I know you, but I want the listeners, I want that to resonate with the listeners. Yeah, I was, so I was $50,000 in debt. Um, I hired a coach. It was $30,000 for the year. I couldn't work out how to, make, how to make the first payment. And what happened was was that I ended up building, building my company from zero to a million in 18 months. And when I went from 40000 a month to, a, no, sorry, 60000 per month, to 100,000 per month, that jump from 60 to 100 came in one month from one mindset shift of stop not worrying what other people thought about me because I started to do more and started to put myself out there. So what happens is sometimes when, if our income isn't ascending and we're just on the same amount every single month, that's normally because we're just earning enough to survive and not grow. If you want to grow a business, G-R-O-W, that means that your income should be ascending. And if it's not ascending, there's something that's not working. There's something that, that is going on. And that's most likely psychological. 
I, I love it, man. And and that is so that's at the core of so many different things. Now we both know someone that you, that you're working with, and uh, one of the things you had mentioned to her was that you wanted her to do a hundred. One Facebook Live a day for a hundred days. Yeah, that's that's a lot of Facebook Live, <laughs> and that's also, right. but it's also a, a high level of commitment. It's also right. preparing that information, getting that information out. But I, I'm guessing it also has to do with building the confidence level that, that right. she's able to to deliver that. Right. So the reason I did that was twofold. One was to build her confidence, but the awesome one was I told her that if she didn't do it, I wouldn't carry on working with her. I know. She told me that, too. <laughs> right. So there, there's the consequence. Yeah. So that's going to condition a new behavior. It's going to raise her confidence. And also, I'm no BS, and I'll, I will hold to that. If she doesn't do it, I won't carry on working with her. So it's, and, and the results are, are coming from that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's tough love. Like, here's the thing. Someone comes to me, you know, and they want an outcome. What I'm going to do is hold that standard for them and do whatever it takes, whether I need to throw a few F-bombs, whether I need to do whatever I need to do, because I'm going to hold someone to the standard they tell me that they want to get to. And there's the difference between, an, I think, I believe, an average coach and the one that gets results is not just, it's not about just knowledge. It's about can you hold people to what they Say that they want to do. I love it, and this also goes back towards um, what many people have said, and yourself included, Sarah. Earlier, I say it to my clients as well. You know, you have to pay to have a coaching session, or or a coach, or a mentor, or some type of service, and that's going to get you to the next level. You were fifty plus thousand in debt, and still invested thirty thousand dollars into your future. Right. Uh, not knowing how you want to make that first payment, but you were committed to that success, right. and that transferred your whole life. So people, regardless of whatever you charge them to uh, work with them, uh, it is just, you know, it, it's a mindset, and, and they just have to get past it, figure it out later, and, and just do it. Am I correct? It's never about the money. It's how resourceful we are. If you want it that badly enough, you'll go and buy some jacket, go and spend some money on eBay, go on a holiday. If the desire is high enough. It's never about the money. It's how much someone wants it and then think and grow rich. There's the phrase, it's intensity of desire. How much do you want something? That's the common denominator of what my most successful clients is how much they were willing to put in the work, okay, because they found a way. I had a 20-year-old guy just signed up to my program. He's working in a sawmill, okay, 20 years old, okay, didn't have any money available, but he went, he, 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 he did some stuff, which was really uncomfortable to find a way to get in the program. I had a guy that sold an engagement ring. What's the difference? Okay, like the difference is they want it so badly when they come into the program, they're going to get massive results because there's enough leverage. That's the difference. So I ne because I invested, because I was 50K in debt and gambling drugs and my life was that way and I invested what I invested, I don't tolerate any BS excuse from someone that says to me, you know, I can't do it. Yes, you can. It's just that you need to raise your standard and what is the priority to you. That's the thing. Yep, and it all goes back to if your why is strong enough, it's, it, you'll find a way. But it, it, your why, you're not going to go towards your destination. If your why is strong enough, it's going to pull you. You will be compelled to, to that destination, and that's a totally different perspective. And also, too, like, you know, a common thing I see from some people is that they're just not good at what they do. Like, look at yourself and go, what is the biggest gift that I can offer? What's the biggest tangible skill that maybe is so natural to me that someone doesn't have that? For example, I'm great on camera. I've invested a lot in myself. I'm in flow when I do it. That's an asset. Make a list of all of your assets, all the things that you're great at that's so natural to you that maybe you've forgotten. Maybe that's presenting. Maybe that's putting together sales pages, maybe it's doing copy, maybe, I don't know. Right? So make a list of it and then decide how you're going to leverage that and move forward to be able to serve others because you don't want to teach theory. I don't teach theory. I teach systems. I teach things that work so that when I plug that into a business, I know as long as they take on action, action on it, it's going to work for 100% of the people that action it. Now, if I'm on a coaching call and I have an idea, that's different because I'll say, listen, guys, this is an idea. Go test it. Tell me what the results are like. There's a big difference between tangible things that get results based on systems and ideas based on I've just read a book and I'm teaching it based on what you just read in a book. So 
look at your assets, look at the things that work for you, and then go and grow a business and serve other people from what you've invested your time, effort, and energy in. in. Now, if you're not in that position and you don't feel, well, I've got no assets, I've got nothing I'm great at, go learn. Go work with some people and trial it, get some results, and then start to work from that place. I love it. Uh, Simon, we're up against a hard um, break right now, but can you please give people your contact information? And, and uh, thank you so much for being here. This is tremendous. I mean, I know people who have worked with you. I know people who are working with you. I know your success is proven. So I recommend you, but can you give people that contact information, how they can reach out to you? The fastest way is just go follow me on Facebook, um, facebook.com slash boylevel, B-O-Y-L-O-V-E-L-L. The reason why it's that name is, is that was my nickname when I was a kid. Some guy said, called me Boy Level. Anyway, that's it. And I'd go, go add me on Facebook. You can also head to simonlevel.com um, where I'm, I've got my new website up. But also if you're a trainer, personal trainer, head to Sitpreneurs. Dot com. But generally, just connect with me and follow me on Facebook, and that's where I put a lot of my content, my, my, uh, you know, just my open, honest conversation around things that happen in my life, the results I'm getting for clients, and maybe that will inspire you, even if it's one post that gets you to take a next step. But my advice would be just take massive action. Don't allow it just to be a stimulant. Do something with it. Excellent. And uh, if the listeners were unable to hear that, uh, follow him on Facebook, S M I S. S-I-M-O-N-L-O-V-E-L-L. Uh, and thank you very much again, Simon. And everyone, you've been listening to the Interesting Solutions Radio Show with Ronald Coleman from RCS Technology Solutions, where we help business owners and entrepreneurs achieve even greater success using various Internet marketing techniques and methods. Thanks.